Hi guys and welcome back to Blushing Shades. It is time for my weekly blushing obsessions and I missed it last week. I just, there was a lot going on with my house and stuff. I didn't have time to film. So Try to keep it, you know, around five or six products because I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm just going to share with you the stuff that I've been really loving and I don't have any fails this week, which is a good thing. Before we get started, I hope that everyone had a wonderful week and let me know in the comments down below what you guys are doing this weekend. I always love to chatting with you. I'm going to start okay. off with some eyeshadows. I did haul these Bella eyeshadows a while back, I think last week sometime. Um, my lovely subscriber had sent a few of them to me because here in Canada we don't carry the Bella eyes. I'm hoping one day we will. But the first one that I've been really enjoying is Bella Bronze and I'm sure you guys all have seen these but I just wanted to share them with you because... I think they are worth looking at. So this is Bella Bronze. They are really pigmented and they, like, look at that. Look at how pigmented that is. And let me just swatch. There you go, that's one swipe. But look how pretty that Bella Bronze is. This is really nice over top of um, Maybelline Bad to the Bronze, which I need to pick up because that one had dried out. It's my favorite Maybelline tattoo. But this color is really pretty, kind of all over the lid or even just thrown on the outside on the outer corners or just bring it up into the crease it's really really pretty so I like that one and the second one is Bella taupe and I think this is a lot of people's favorite it's different uh, swatched it kind of pulls a bit on the mauve side kind of like a mauve gray it's 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 different I don't really have a shade like this so there is Bella taupe and I believe this one is a is it matte this is a satin matte. So there you go. So I want to share a dual eyeshadow by NARS and this is from their fall collection and normally I don't pick any of the duels up because I just don't think that they're worth it. They really have to wow me in order for me to purchase it. But this one definitely caught my eye. I think it's perfect for coming fall and winter. Um, this shade here is probably pretty dupable. I'm sure you can find a dupe for that. But this one here is really unique. It's kind of like a purple lilac shimmery shade it's really pretty so if you guys have a NARS counter go and check this duo out because I really think that this one is worth checking next is this super BB cream by physicians formula now I've been on this like BB cream kick I don't know what's going on but I ended up getting a just a travel size that shoppers have was giving out for free and this is in the color light medium but I've been really impressed with this I have really oily skin, so some BB creams do not agree with my uh, skin type, but this one actually does not make me oily at all. I'm very surprised. It wears really nicely. The only thing is I do feel this BB cream on my skin, so if I do add a little bit too much, I can actually feel it. I do have to set this BB cream with a uh, setting powder, but... Overall, it's it's pretty good. I've been really impressed with it. So. I'm gonna move on to blush, and the first one is by Bobbi Brown. Now, Melissa, if you're watching, which I'm pretty sure you are, you always talk about this blush called Clementine. So I did get it, and I really love this blush. So thank you very much for your recommendation. I've been really enjoying it. I don't even know how to describe this color. How would you describe this color, Melissa? You tell me in the comments down below. I would describe it as like a red, rosy, pink shade I don't know <laughs> but I really like it definitely worth checking out I believe this is one of her new shades so it is permanent in her collection and the last blush is Heather Silk by Wet n Wild I kind of just rediscovered this in my collection so I decided to pull it out again and this blush is extremely pigmented you have to use a stifling brush to apply it because your brush will pick up a lot of product it's quite powdery but they're super super pigmented so there is the color right there, and I will just swatch it. It's a really pretty plummy rose shade right there, and it is matte. Yes, it's matte. So there's the color right there. Really, really pretty for the fall. I have three lipsticks to share with you. This one here is from L'Oreal Paris, and this is Jennifer's Nude number 370. It's in the black and gold packaging. Um, at first I thought that these were limited edition, but I guess it's now part of their permanent line. Correct me in the comments down below if I'm wrong, but I ended up picking up Jennifer's Nude, and it's really, really pretty. After Jaclyn Hill talked about it, I'll just swatch it for you guys. I'm not a big fan of the smell or the taste of these lipsticks, but I really do like the color and I like the formula. They're kind of a lighter, 
cream formula. They're more on the sheer side, so you have to really build this color up. But it's really pretty if you're doing a really dramatic smoky eye and you just want a really nice pink nude lip. I really like the Jennifer's Nude, so that's the shade right there. This is the Lip Color Rouge in Caramel. I believe this is also part of the permanent line because she released a lot of uh, new colors. But this one here is different. I don't really go for colors like these. It's a darker nude, like a brownie nude. So there is the color right there. So it's definitely like a brown caramel nude color. Probably not for everybody. I don't know if this color would be flattering on some skin tones. But I like it on my skin tone. So if you're like an olive yellow, yellow undertone, you will probably like this. But I really like the formula of these. They're really creamy and opaque. And yeah, I just like it. The smell, let me see. The smell's okay. I just really like this color. The last lipstick is by MAC and it's called Captive. I did have this in my MAC fall lipsticks that I did this week. I will leave that video down below. But it's just a really pretty deep plum color. If you're somebody that is scared of like a darker, darker lip, this one is actually kind of in the middle. It's dark enough, but it's not too dark where it's going to make you look kind of vampy. So that is why I like this one. I am wearing it today. I'll just put a little bit more on. But there's the color right there. It's just a really pretty deep plum color. Definitely worth picking up for the fall, so I wanted to share that with you. I'm going to stop right there because I don't want this video to be too long, and I'm going to save some of it for my monthly favorites. Like always, please leave a comment down below what your favorite item is for the week. Also, I am continuing my fall series next week and starting off with some drugstore lipsticks for fall, so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Have a great, great weekend, whatever you guys are doing, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.